Hey, what's up guys? Mo here. Last week I was watching a video of a new camera that was released where the person that was reviewing the camera put the camera to his eye and then he clicked on the points autofocusing system and he was able to move the points on his actual screen as he was focusing. He did not need a joystick. It might have been the M50 actually, the Canon M50. Not sure. But he was able to touch the LCD and move the autofocusing points as he was looking through the viewfinder to be able to precisely get that point instead of using the scroll wheel because we all know how annoying that can be sometimes. And I was like, I wish I had that feature on the ADD. Sony a7 III also has that feature. The new Canon EOS R does not have that feature um, from at least what I've heard so far from people reviewing this camera. They're saying that they were not able to move it with touching the screen. And I was like, it sucks, so I can't even like upgrade to the new camera, it's not gonna have it. And I just have this crop sensor ADD and I, I'm definitely out of luck. So I just went into my camera settings and I like kept searching and searching and nothing. And then finally, I got it. All right, so obviously I'm switching to the GoPro because I cannot use the ADD that I was recording on before. All right, so first thing I do is um, obviously go into menu. Um, you're gonna go into menu number three. And for menu number three, um, go down to it says info button display options like that you make sure all three of them are actually checked off and then you click OK perfect now you're here you're shooting actually when you're shooting it usually looks like this um, and then when you click the button up here to get the little screen that shows you um, the autofocus points it shows you inside here the viewfinder but it does not show you on the back of the LCD so what you need to do is click on info you're gonna have either this option this option which is a level as you can tell my desk is perfectly level thank you very much or this option this is the option that you need this kind of looks like the Q screen that you have but only in this screen you really can't control that much. You actually can't control anything. You don't touch the screen at all. Um, but if you do change the settings, like the wheels or whatnot, you'll see that your shutter changes. So you can change your ISO, whatever. And um, you'll see that, that it changes right there. But you can't actually touch it to change it. You'd have to press the Q button to do that. But from this screen, now if you press the button up here for the autofocus, voila. You get the system displayed right here. Not only do you get the system displayed here, you can actually interact with it. So I can literally move it around with my finger. So I can click on the single point and move it around. Click on this right here, the zone, move that around, the large zone, and of course the 45 points all together. So what you can do in theory is that keep your eye in the viewfinder. You know, obviously know where this button is, click on that as you're shooting and then you can move this around with your thumb as your eye is already in the viewfinder therefore giving you a fully functional LCD screen that you can literally change the autofocus points on now usually you would have to press this multiple times to go between these zones um, you can either do it by touchscreen or I set it up to work with this wheel whereas before the wheel would move the points left and right I made the wheel go from one zone to the next. That way, it's much quicker. So as I click on this button once, my eye is still in the viewfinder. I go from this zone to this zone quick, and then with my thumb, I go like this. This is all without removing my face from the viewfinder. It's really, really time-saving. In conclusion, no, you do not need to upgrade your camera. Your camera is just fine, your ADD is fine. You can do all those things that you can do with other cameras. You just have to go around the menu system and play around a little bit. And if it's not available, then guess what? It's not the end of the world. You can still survive with the ADD. It's a very capable camera, I love it. 45 autofocusing points on a $900 brand new camera. That's kind of ridiculous. Uh, 24 megapixels, I mean, the ADD and the 6D Mark II are literally the same exact camera. The only difference is the 6D Mark II has a full frame sensor. This is the reason why it gets a little bit better dynamic range because of the full frame sensor. It's bigger, it lets in more light. Other than that, it is literally the same exact camera. So the entry level full frame camera and the high end 
crop sensor camera are pretty much the same thing, just a little bit cheaper. In fact, it's about $1,000 cheaper. So that's it for today's video. If you have any questions or complaints, you can park them in the comment section down below. Other than that, if you found this video valuable, make sure you leave a thumbs up. Until next time, peace.